Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how I make my homemade deodorant. Now I actually made a blog post about this and you can read it um, at my blog and I'm going to have the link down in the information if you want to go look at it. But really quick, this is just pretty much the same thing that I did there. Here's the supplies that you're going to need. You're going to need a mixing bowl. You will need a fourth of a measuring cup. You will need a tea or a tablespoon measuring cup. You are going to need some baking soda. Woo! I have a huge bag of baking soda. You will need coconut oil. You will need cornstarch. You will need some sort of skin safe fragrance oil and you will need a container to put your deodorant in. Now I have kept an old container of mine and I've cleaned it out and I've rolled the bottom of it all the way down to the bottom so we can fill it fairly easy. Alright so the recipe is very simple. What we're going to do is we're just going to have a fourth of a cup of cornstarch. So let's get this ball rolling. Alright, fourth of a cup of cornstarch, and you can just kind of measure it as you go. Ooh, that was a big poof. And then you will need a fourth of a cup of baking soda. And the best thing about this deodorant recipe is normally these are all just things that you'll have laying around in your house. Alright, so I have my cornstarch and my baking soda in here, and I'm just going to give them a mix. Uh, with the baking soda, you might get clumps like these and you'll just want to break those up with your fingers. We're just kind of going to kind of mix this all up and if you have dry skin or if you have dry hands uh, you might want to wear gloves because this can be a little bit drying at first. Alright, so our cornstarch and our baking soda are mixed in together. Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and add our coconut oil. You can find coconut oil in the baking section of the grocery store. I get mine for about between five and six dollars a can. And we're going to have three tablespoons of coconut oil. One more. Come on. There we go. Alright, so we have our coconut oil. I'm going to get that last little bit in there. And since I'm making this for myself, I'm using ungloved hands and all that fun stuff. So. I'm just going to mix this all in together. So we've got our baking soda, our coconut oil, and our cornstarch. And if you want your deodorant unscented, you can just leave it like this. You just mix it all up till it makes this paste. And then you would just glop it into your container. But I like fragrances. I love smells. So I'm going to add a little bit of fragrance. Now when you're picking out your fragrance, you are going to want to use a skin safe oil. This is a fragrance oil from Brambleberry.com. It's called Wild Tea, White Tea and Ginger. And it is safe to use on the skin. It's safe to use in soap products. So I'm going to use it. And I'm only going to use just a little bit of it. Just like Maybe, yeah, just like half of a milliliter, not even half of a milliliter. With fragrance, a little bit goes a long way. I think I used maybe four to five drops there. So we're just going to mix this in. And one thing that you'll want to remember about this deodorant, especially if you're going to travel with it, the coconut oil has a very interesting property in it. With coconut oil, if the mix, if the oil gets above 76 degrees, it will turn into a liquid. See how this is really runny? But if it gets below 76 degrees, it is a solid. So if you're traveling with this, you'll want to keep it cool. All right, so now I have my empty deodorant container, and I'm just going to kind of glop this into my deodorant container. This actually works pretty well if it's runny, because it will slide down to the bottom and just kind of give it a couple of taps to get any air bubbles out. Alright, 
fine. And this, this deodorant actually works very, very well. Um, when I first made my deodorant, I was getting ready to go visit some relatives in Columbus, Mississippi. And if you have never been to Mississippi in the summer, it is it, it is an inferno <laughs> most of the time and very humid. And I figured, okay, if my deodorant can last in Mississippi in the summer, then it will last forever. And it did. It survived, and I did not stink in Mississippi. So, anyways, this was a messy video. I'm sorry about all the mess. But here is my finished product, my deodorant. I'm just going to let this sit. I'm probably going to toss it in the refrigerator for maybe about an hour. And all that coconut oil will harden back up. And you have a practically a chemical free homemade deodorant. Thank you. See you guys later.